Hey folks, Country Prepper here. So I'm getting all geared up and ready to go for the bug out camp coming up in May. And so I thought I would go through and show you guys some of my kits. That way when I do the overall bug out bag video of everything I'm going to take, then uh, I don't have to go through every kit and it'll be a little bit shorter video that way. I could just refer back to these videos of the kits and uh, that'll just kind of move things along a little faster. I am going to be testing out some new gear on this little uh, trip so uh, that's coming up in another video but for right now what I want to show you guys is my hygiene kit. Now this is also kind of a VR too, a video I was watching the other day on Guns and Gear Network. Cool guy, has a lot of really great videos, I really highly suggest you go uh, check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. And I'll also leave a link to the video that I'm referring to, where uh, he was showing his hygiene kit, and I just thought it was just a little too much. And so, you know, I, I left him a comment, I don't remember exactly what I said, but in that comment I had suggested some... Uh, using some alternatives to save space and weight, uh, things that are multi-purpose, things that have uh, several uses, um, and things that you just, honestly, I feel like you don't need. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's go take a look at the kit. So as you can see, I have very few items here. And these, since there are only 10 in a pack, I'm keeping two of them in my bug out bag. But these are very multi-purpose. You can, you know, wipe yourself after you go to the bathroom. You can clean out, uh, you know, clean every crevice on your body. You can basically bathe yourself with these. Just kind of give yourself, you know, a good once over so you can get going again. But also, you know, if you're uh, uh, in need of anything, you know, just clean cleanliness, you got a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer. I The main reason I keep this, it's a multi-purpose item. I could probably do without it, but it is an awesome fire starter as well. So, multi-purpose, if you did need it to help clean yourself, then uh, then you have it. And also, like I said, a fire starter. So this gold bond powder, and I might actually throw an extra one of these in because it, it doesn't. there isn't a whole lot in this, but you can use this... For your feet, you can use it for in in replacement of deodorant. You can you know put it in your nether regions if you get galled, if you're uh, sweating really bad and haven't been able to clean yourself. Uh, this will help that friction quite a bit, and uh, you know it's just uh, a lot of purposes you can use for this. So that's why that's in there, and I might actually either grab a bigger bottle or just a second one of these small ones. Of course, a comb. Um, in that video, he had two combs and a brush. I really think you can get by with just one. I realize they weigh next to nothing, but they do weigh something. And it always has bothered me when I watch a video on a bug out bag or any type of kit like that where somebody says it weighs nothing. Well, everything weighs something. It has mass. And those, even if it's just grams, they do add up. So all those things that you say weigh nothing actually add up to quite a bit of weight if you really think about it. So I just put one in there. If you do happen to have time to lay down and sleep, which is kind of unlikely to be honest, um, you know, you might want to, you might have to, you know, brush your hair out or something before you get going again. You know, if, uh, you know, just one of those things that kind of makes you feel better, and that is kind of a morale booster right there, I think. But, uh, you know, if you do happen to have time, you know, it would be a good, nice thing to do for yourself. And last but not least, these are wisps, and I grabbed the package out of the house of these. I use these all the time. I've been keeping them in my EDC kits, and uh, I keep them in a bunch of different kits. But these require no water. You don't have to rinse your mouth out. kind of tastes like gum after you've used it, and uh, it's just something that you can use on the go to keep from you know, having any dental problems. In three days, I really highly doubt you're going to have any dental problems, but you just never know, and it doesn't hurt to keep up on it if you can. So that is my my choice to use these instead of toothbrush and toothpaste. Also, I don't have to rinse these out and try and keep them clean. I don't have to try to keep them from, 
getting any crap inside of my uh, backpack. I just use it and throw it out. So it does have a pick on the back, so there's another multi-purpose item. You can use it as a pick if you get something in your teeth, and uh, you know, instead of having to also carry dental picks. So really the whole point of why I'm showing you how minimal my kit is, is just to make you think about what are the things that you can really do without for three days. A couple other things that people might suggest for a hygiene kit is fingernail clippers, toenail clippers. If you want to keep those in there, great. Um, you can get by with just toenail clippers. You can clip your fingernails with toenail clippers. It's not going to kill you. <laughs> and uh, But... Uh, you know, you don't need to carry both, so that's just a little bit of weight that you could shave off. And honestly, I can get by for three days without them. Uh, I really think I can. So uh, if you have, you know, if you end up having some sort of problem, like, uh, I don't know, you have an ingrown toenail or something like that, you can't get those out with regular toenail clippers anyway. So, I don't know. It it might be something I add to this kit. Um, you know, maybe you got a really bad hangnail or something like that. I, I don't know. Put some super glue on it. Because uh, that's going to be in most people's first aid kits. Um, I just think there's a lot of things that we put in kits and put in bug out bags that are unnecessary weight. You know, just extra things that you really can go without for, you know, it's just a short amount of time. It's not going to kill you to not shave for a day. It's not going to kill you to um, not cut your fingernails for a day or, you know, just brushing your hair for a day. Yeah, I think that's a good morale booster, but uh, I think you could live without it. Um, you just got to kind of think more along the lines of your... The whole reason you're bugging out is to save your life. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be a joy ride. It's not going to be a camping trip. And it's probably going to be a very bad experience for everybody involved. But just keep in mind that if you're bugging out, there are thousands of other people going to be doing it too. They just won't be as well prepared as you. So that's it for today, guys. I'm really not harping on anybody. Keep what you want in your bug out bags. Keep what you want in your kits. You know, whatever you want to do. But just do yourself a favor and go out and go for a hike with it. And that will change your mind a lot. I go out hiking with my bug out bag just as often as I can, which isn't near enough here lately. And so I've, I've learned that even just reducing an ounce here and an ounce there makes a huge difference and it doesn't uh doesn't cause you as much pain you can go a lot further and uh just uh it's a little uh makes just makes it easier on you is about all it really amounts to so as always make sure you check out all the links in the description box below hit that thumbs up button leave me a comment and i thank you for watching see you next time